Okay, I'm going to go through each of the exercises, the Pilates and Plyo exercises that you have on your workout. I'm going to start with what I call the leg catch series, which is listed as the first four exercises. It's single leg catch, double leg catch, single leg stretch, and double leg stretch. So single leg catch, you're going to begin with your knee pulled as tightly as you can into your chest. Shoulders are lifted, elbows are high and wide. Begin with an inhale and exhale, switch and hold. One, so pause, two, three. So each time, pull your chest, your knees into your chest and extend the other leg out with a pointed toe so the quadriceps are staying engaged. So double leg catch, you're gonna stay all the way up with the shoulders. Go ahead and bring both knees in. Inhale, arms overhead and exhale, wrap the arms around and hold and pull the knees in. Inhale out and exhale around. Inhale out and exhale around. And straight into a single leg stretch. You're gonna lift your shoulders up even higher and extend the leg with the toes pointed again. That's so that your leg stays fully engaged. Begin with an inhale and exhale. Switch one, two, three, four, and then continue with your set. Then double leg stretch. Go ahead and relax your back onto the floor. Form a, what we call Pilates V with your feet. So you're gonna glue your heels together really tight, and then with the toes apart, forming a V. Inhale, drop down, and exhale, powerfully come up. Inhale down, and exhale up. And again, continue with your full set. Okay, crisscross is like a bicycle crunch. Again, always the extended leg, the toes pointed, the quadriceps are engaged. You're going to turn and look all the way down towards your armpit. Inhale and exhale. Switch one, two. So everything with Pilates, you've got that little pause so that everything stays very deliberate and active. Okay, and then single leg bridge. So form a bridge like you would normally be doing a pelvic bridge lift. Extend one leg out. Drop down, up and squeeze, down and squeeze. And keep the elongated leg always engaged. Corkscrew, bring the feet back to that Pilates V, so squeeze the heels together. We're going to inhale around and exhale, hold at the top. So use your abdominal muscles to put the brakes on at 12 o'clock. You're going to do your full set of 10 or 12 and then reverse for the other Set, single leg kick, so you're going to turn onto your back, onto your stomach, and form a little pillow with your hands so that your neck stays relaxed. This is a hamstring and glute exercise. You're going to kick the leg up, extend it out, and place it down. So kick up, extend out, up, and out. Low Back raise with palms up, so palms are up to the ceiling. Relax on your inhale, and as you exhale, lift using your lower back. Pull the shoulders back, reaching your fingers to this back, and hold. Inhale down, and exhale again. Focus on using the lower back for that exercise. Side plank with a reach. You're line your elbow up directly under your shoulder. Stack your hips together. You can stack the feet together, or if you have trouble with stability with that, you can move one foot forward so that you have a little bit of a wider stance. You're going to come into a side plank and reach, and then come down and just barely tap your hip, and then right back up. Inhale on the way down, and exhale, reach. And then, of course, both sides, roll up. Pilates, roll up. You're on your back, arms overhead. Flatten out your spine, begin to roll up, reaching all the way up, reach for the ceiling, and then tuck, and then turn down one vertebrae at a time with control. So up and hold, and then really control down. Okay, your plyometrics, probably know a lot of these. We've got jump squat. First, the jump squat, you can either take it light and just do a small jump, especially if you have knee problems, or you can really explode on the way up, tap the floor, come all the way up. Then we have front hop, back hop, so take a, a wide like frog stance, hop forward, and hop back. Keep that athletic stance. 
a burpee. If you have wrist problems, you might not be able to do the full burpee. You're going to jump your feet to your hands, jump up, and then you can either step back or hop back. Be careful with the hop back if you have any lower back problems. Single leg, step back to hop. You're going to step back as far as you can, and then come up, hop, and then step back again. Up, hop, and step back. Okay, and then repeat. Have fun.